Hi, brothers and sisters. So, um, I did a video a few hours ago um, about a dream I had down there on the border between Mexico and it, it seemed like I was on the California Mexico border, but I knew this caravan was coming, and we know in the news that this caravan's coming. And so, anyway, I was in this desert and there were palm trees and olive trees and they were on fire and um, Hollywood was there trying to hire Robert De Niro to be an actor or like not an actor but work um, on the border and so I was talking about Kim's dream and how all these uh, things kind of at she mentioned something about San Diego in her dream and it, that's where it kind of seemed like I was you know Southern California in the desert but um, and then uh, brother Earl Dennison mentioned it seems like a lot of people are um, having dreams about being in the desert down there in the southwest and um, I had forgotten all about this dream that he shared with me. I'm going to read it to you, brother. I hope you don't mind. But so it says, in the dream, I was still in the military. I was in a desert southwest environment. That was like my dream. It, he's, he said, it's either Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Mexico area. I was on top of a building overlooking a Tex-Mex style village. I was in a tower on this building while on the roof I walk into a door to my commander's office. I sit down while saying we're going to war, aren't we? He nodded yes and said to me, you look as if you've already been there. I then walked through his office door, office to a door behind him which was the tower of this building. I was looking over the village through an arch opening in the structure. I look back inside to address my commander and I hear a woman shout. There are three waves coming. Then I hear another woman's voice, my mother, say, All I see are empty chairs. I look out and notice a church with rows of chairs neatly formed in front of the church. The train horn's going off, you guys. Uh, every time I make a video. Um with rows of chairs neatly formed in front of the church, but I saw no people. As I begin to turn back toward the inside, I hear many folks screaming and some rumbling. I look back really quick to see hundreds of people running through the village towards my direction, and I see in the distance a shock wave approaching very rapidly. With this shock wave, the ground is being rippled and thrown upward violently. As the wave is through the ground too, I began to turn so I could duck for cover, and as I started to turn, I see a lightning bolt symbol. It didn't look like a natural strike, but what? But like what you would see in a comic. And it was the brightest white that I had ever thought eyes could see, and a loud thunderous clap simultaneous with the lightning. I finished turning to cover, but then said, Why? I then looked up, lifted my hands, and began thanking Jesus. I could hear the destruction approaching and begin to feel the pressure of the wave and I woke up. And he said, okay, I say all that to say this. Last night while scrolling through Facebook, I see this meme with Trump on it and including, included in the writing, it mentions three waves of refugees approaching our southern Tex-Mex border. I don't know, sis, but this situation cannot be good. Okay, so... I responded back to him because I had seen that same picture in someone's video on YouTube earlier um, talking about the the wave um, three waves of refugees I saw that too and then um, I think it was forgive me if it wasn't brother Chad Crawford that had a dream and in the audible he heard red wave so I just think that
the Lord is just trying to warn us that things are coming like with my dream and Kim's dream and Earl's and this red wave stuff and this war and um, the peace treaty and the Antichrist. Um, and it also made me think about, you know, how a lot of people have dreams of, um, uh, UFOs and aliens and stuff like that. Um, I always said, I think it means, um, an invasion from another country. Um, and I also had an awake vision of a UFO flying over this, this old looking town, um, kind of a shabby chic looking town. But I thought, is it really talking about aliens, UFOs, or is, is the Lord trying to say people from a different country will come running in here? Or is it talking about being invaded by a foreign country coming onto the soil, something, you know, alien that's not a citizen coming onto the soil. I don't know, but what it's, I believe what it, what the Lord's referencing is that things politically are starting to change and, you know, people are going to be upset by it. There's a lot of things going on in the shadow government that we don't see right now. And there are people and like, and like yesterday, the house won, the Democrats won back the house and, um, and now they're all, you know, happy about that. And then today Trump fires sessions, asks him to, um, resign and, you know, I guess for Republicans, that's good, but Democrats, what that's like a slap on the, on the face, you know? But yeah, so I've been thinking about all this today and um, what the Lord is really trying to say. I know that we are, we are leaving really soon, you guys. Um, and I know that civil unrest, um, I was told civil unrest was coming over a year ago um, and rioting and things like that and and with what's happening over in Israel, like how the caravan's coming, like something. And then, you know, how Trump says the wall. And then, cause one time the Lord told me audibly, he said, if I was to show you a dream from the night in the 1950s, I would show you a wall in Iran. I think it was Iran or Iraq. I think that's what he said. It was either Iran or Iraq. And I was thinking a wall in the 1950s. What is he talking about? What does that mean? And then not, not too later after that, Trump started talking about the wall and building the wall. And, and, um, and then Israel started talking about, um, if Syria comes next to our border wall, we will not hold back. We will, you know, shoot them down and which they did a couple times. Um, they got really close. They said, I think 15 or within 30 miles, um, from their perimeter or their wall, they would shoot them down. So, but, um, yeah, things are escalating. Things don't look like, you know, from our, our point of view, it doesn't really look like anything is getting any better, um, politically or in the world right now. And George Soros is partnering with MasterCard to give people in this caravan, uh, money. And there's like people upset about that. And I don't know what's going to happen, you guys, but we know that the, the day is approaching and the kingdom of heaven is at hand and we don't have a long time. So tell everybody you can about Jesus, tell your neighbors, tell people out in town, you know, and, um, let's see. Okay. So 
in one of your comments, uh, Kelly Lozano, the comments on my uh, video here, she says there was a long vision given a few years ago where the Chinese had made a deal with Mexico if they'd help during an invasion. Dano seemed to come to mind. Well, that's very interesting. And then Mary Lynn said, one of my visions from a couple of months ago was of soldiers coming and after them were dark figures, were one, dark figures one right after the other. Thereafter, I saw a picture of Chinese soldiers and now know that the vision of the soldiers were them. So I agree with you. Something big is going to happen and I don't think it's going to be positive. So that's interesting. Here we have the Chinese now. So you guys just stay in prayer and keep watching and keep looking up because um, I just feel like, you know, we're leaving really soon and I love you guys.